Hello, my name is Sam Carlton. I'm the software developer for Photo Parada Software, the ultimate event photography solution. This is the first of three videos where we're going to be talking about the slideshow. In this video, we'll discuss the most basic form of the slideshow, a customer-driven slideshow. In the second video, we'll discuss how you can fine-tune what exactly is in the slideshow and what's not in the slideshow. And in the final video, we'll talk about how we can take the information from the first two videos and you can create your own customized slideshow. So let's begin. So here we have the Photoprada KVS up and running. You'll notice there's no slideshow running right now. The reason for that is the default mode of Photoprada is to be a customer driven slideshow. We don't expect you to necessarily have the time at the event to go off and pick the best of the best images. So what we've done is we've set it up that at the beginning of the event there's nothing in the slideshow until a customer starts adding images to their favorites or adding images to their cart. Once they start adding images to the cart, the theory is they're picking good images. So those images become the slideshow. So let's, let's see that in action. I have put some images um, under Friday under 2 p.m. specifically for this demo. So you'll notice here we've got some little numbers here, a 5 here, a 6 here, a 1, 2, 4, and a 3. And because the other thing I want to demonstrate to you is that the, the images will come up in the order that the customer selects them. So let's add these to your favorites um, in order. One way to do that, as you know, is we can click on the image and then here we can go off and we can click on purchase or add favorites. All we have to do is add these to their favorites. They don't necessarily have to be purchased. So I'm going to just click on Add Favorite. Have to give it a phone number. And so there we go. We've got one image in the slideshow. That'll take a while though, to go through and add all the images. So let me show you another little trick. Uh, the other thing you can do to add to the favorites is simply click on the name. So this right here is number two. So if I just click right down here on the name, it's now in the favorites. Click on three, four, five, and six. So now we've got six images in the slideshow and when this person logs out and the KVS restarts we'll see them in the slideshow. So let's see that happen. So rather than waiting for timeout I'm just going to restart the KVS and it will come up with a slideshow running. You notice here how the slideshow now has come up and they're running in order. One, two, once we get to six, it'll simply recycle and start at one. There we go, we've recycled and just keep going until someone interacts with the uh, KVS and people can start viewing images. That's how the basic customer driven slideshow works. We've got two more videos coming to uh, to talk about it a little bit more in detail how you can customize things to uh, if, if you would like to control exactly what's in the uh, slideshow so please uh, check those out if you would like your slideshow to work a little differently. Thanks for taking the time to view our video. If you'd like to get more information please check us out at www.miltonstreet.com or you can email me at carlton at miltonstreet.com. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.